Welcome back, everyone. Um, you know, I don't really like to talk much about statistics, but it's really something in this real advanced age that we live in that the number one cause of death is cancer, and there's no cure for cancers. A lot of advances, but no cure. And part of the reason that there are so many advances is the American Cancer Society and what they do to raise money, which primarily goes for research. Well, joining me today is a health systems manager for American Cancer Society, Rebecca Smith. Hello, Rebecca. Hi, Jesse. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too, and thank you very much for thank coming Thank you for in. having me. Uh, before we went on air, Rebecca and I just had an amazing conversation about all of the things that the American Cancer Society is doing with regards to research, what it's doing locally here. Uh, you're part of the, is it a chapter? The Northeast uh, Capital um, Region? We're the Eastern Division of the American Cancer Society, which includes all of New York State and all of New Jersey. Got you. And your specific area? My office area yep, is, is located in Latham. Got it. And we cover the Albany Capital District area all the way up to the Canadian border. I've got it. Wow, it's quite a territory. Quite a territory, yes. Um, everyone has heard of it. I, for 20 something years, the Relay for Life has always been kind of a, not only a way for the American Cancer Society to raise money, but a great way to bring families together and survivors, yes. right? That's the key yeah, there, that's the key to there. show the support. To show the support, not only to the survivors, but their family, their friends, and especially those caregivers and their children, if they have children in their families, just to, to bring everybody together and honor those that we've lost as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that Rebecca said was that, you know, cancer really touches all of us. Yes. Isn't does. that true? It is true. In uh, one way or another. All of us know friends. I have a, f a friend, mm -hmm. her sister just died of cancer this week. Mm -hmm. Another friend who called me up a month ago, spot on my lungs. You know, when you hear those words, your life changes. It sure does. And the American Cancer Society can help with that journey from the first diagnosis to treatment to getting through all the way to living your life after treatment as well, because that can be difficult for some folks. Now, uh, I assume, like, you, you also hear a lot today that people will say, you know, it's one thing to get the phone call or have the visit with your doctor and you find out that you have it, but preventive care yes. is, especially in this case, is very important, right. right? And tell us about some of the preventive sure. measures. So the American Cancer Society, one of our big things is education, preventing that cancer. So we help, you know, with our partners, the um, ACS CAN agencies to help with tobacco-free policies that you see throughout our regions, as well as breaking down barriers to those folks to have access to healthy eating or, you know, better mm -hmm. exercise facilities or parks and playgrounds, things like that. So we can prevent more people from being diagnosed and dying of cancer. Uh, smoking, leading cause, leading right? Leading cause, yes, unfortunately. Um, the New York State rates have gone down. We're making great progress. We work very closely with our New York State tobacco control program, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of work to be done in those areas. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if any of you have uh, know this or not. One cigarette, typical cigarette, 7,000 chemicals inside that cigarette, of which close to 70 yes. are directly related, related to causing cancer in one cigarette. Now multiply that. that. Oh, you know what I want to ask you about? E-cigarettes. Yes. What's the story with e-cigarettes? So the electronic cigarettes have not been around very long, but they are very popular, unfortunately. Um, we did have a big win recently. The FDA is now going to regulate how those e-cigarettes are made and marketed. Um, the youth are taking them up, and we're finding that their rates are going up, and it's kind of a gateway into other tobacco products, which mm -hmm. is not a good thing. Um, we just don't know enough about them. We don't know what's in them. We don't know the long-term effects that it's going to have on people, and it's very scary. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, again, you're talking about nicotine, which is, uh, uh, you know, habit-forming. So, uh, but also with the e-cigarettes, I've heard lately that they, and again, it's a process of discovery at this point, but they're not safe, they're and not they're not safe. harmless, they're addictive, and there are chemicals yep, that chemicals. are being transferred, right? Yes, yep. Um, the metal inside of them, the battery has had issue, the battery has exploded. You hear stories of getting burnt on their face and mouth. Mm -hmm. um, one of the main ingredients we're finding is antifreeze that you put in your car. Oh, well, that's charming. <laughs> so that's why would one. you want to put that in your body and in your mouth? Right. 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 So unfortunately, it's just... It's scary that they're out there and people can buy them. You do have to be 18 mm -hmm. to buy them, but as we know, youth are finding a way to get a hold of Boy, them. Boy, they're they are certainly finding a way mm -hmm. to get a hold of them. You know, it was my generation. We were uh, all smokers when we were kids. It was like the popular thing. You weren't popular unless you smoked, smoked you know? unfortunately. And it, mm -hmm. uh, over and over again, you just 
people just stop smoking, mm -hmm. you know, when they realize that, yeah. that the damage. And, and, you know, the American Cancer Society can help. Talk to your doctor about getting right. help. There's products out there. There's support groups that are out there that can help. Mm -hmm. You know, there are resources, so please reach out. Yeah, and uh, a lot of this is covered under Medicaid. If you're not, if you know, you mm -hmm. can't afford to go to a, yep. a regular doctor. Uh, the other thing is, the other preventive measures I know about are things like colonoscopy. Oh, because it, outside of <laughs> lung cancer being the leading cause of death in terms of cancer, colon cancer is the second. Correct. Correct. Right. Yep. Um, you know, we're trying to encourage people to go get their screenings, talk to your doctors. You know, a lot of people don't like to talk about your colon, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, colon cancer, when caught early, can definitely be treated, and you can live, you know, cancer-free if you mm -hmm. visit your doctor. Um, it, you know, we recommend everybody at starting at the age of 50 at normal risk to, to get that colonoscopy and then every 10 years. So, you know, 10 years isn't too bad. Or you can do a, you know, we do have take-home tests, so talk to your doctor about taking home that colonoscopy right. test. Right. Yeah, probably a good idea. You know, mm -hmm. in the privacy of your own, own home, home, you can check it more frequently if you, if you mm -hmm. think, you know, or... Uh, I think that's all very valuable, yep. the, valuable the, information. The colon cancer screening rate in New York State is around 69%. Mm -hmm. We're, our goal, we have a new goal this, for the next two years, 80% by 2018. Mm -hmm. We're encouraging folks, um, organizations, businesses, healthcare systems to sign on to really promote and educate and get that screening rate up. Well, I'll tell you, Rebecca, you're a wonderful, <laughs> sp you are a wonderful spokesperson well, for you. the American Cancer Society. I do love it. I do love working for them. There's a lot of great people. We're all, all in for the right reason. We're all passionate. You know, mm -hmm. we're over 2 billion people strong between mm -hmm. staff and volunteers. Wow. All right. So the Relay for Life is coming yes. Saturday, the 21st First. at SUNY Adirondack. SUNY Adirondack. Yeah, because that's a change in change. location, yes. by, uh, by yes. the way, because it wasn't there last year. Correct. Um, SUNY Adirondack, right, right up on Bay Road in Queensbury, all day affair. The whole family should come. Yes. And bring, uh, if you're a survivor, please come. The support system between cancer patients is really something to see. It's right. really something to watch. Yeah, and you're not alone. You know, a lot of people right. come and say, oh, I thought it was just me. Mm -hmm. No, nope, everybody is there together. We are one big family. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's great to see. We'll have a survivor luncheon starting at noon. Our opening ceremony is at 1. And we have the president of SUNY Anirondack speaking, Kristen Duffy, which yeah, is sure. fantastic. And then um, my boss, my vice president of health systems, Alvaro Carascal, will be speaking. And then we have other speakers lined up throughout the day, activities, music, games. Mm -hmm. It'll be a great day. So please go to the American Cancer Society. The way this works for the Relay for Life, if I've got it correct, create a team, go out and do whatever you need to do, bake sales or whatever <laughs> to get to raise money. But the whole idea is that all of that money goes to American Cancer Society, and it stays local, too, it which sure I does. think is important. Yep. And right. you can also, we have our relayforlife.org. Um, slash Warren County, New York website where you can sign up and find more information. And, and also donate too. And donate, yes. And our, and our dollars do stay local. We have a great relationship with the C.R. Wood Cancer Center at Glens Falls Hospital. We work very closely together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the North Country and the folks and the patients, mm -hmm. you know, it's a great time. And, and it, the dollars do help save lives. Well, you're a very eloquent spokesperson <laughs> well, for thank the you. society. You really are. Thank you. Rebecca, thank you very much for coming in. Thank Cycle you. back on that one more time. Saturday, the 21st. SUNY out around that campus, get there and spend the day and learn something, donate some money, and that money goes right into the American Cancer Society. Thank, Thank you. you very much for coming in. Thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.